me clearly, America is not a racist country. We're not a racist country, Brian. We've never been a racist country. Ladies and gentlemen, you know, there was a study done and we already know there's a whole bunch of biases that has been programmed into AI. And this is why it's so many problems. See, one thing about this place that I noticed many years ago, they'll talk about something, but they sure as hell won't fix it. And as long as they don't fix it, then that tells you they're perfectly fine with what's going on with AI, especially when it's used against us. They're fine with the whole thing. So AI chat box use racist stereotypes even after people have gone through race sensitivity training. And they're seeing this in large language models and they said especially prejudice against speakers of African-American English. And tech, you know, the tech companies are fully aware of this, y'all. You know, these people crack you up. Try to act like they don't have nothing to do with this and don't have nothing to do with that. Asses are behind the whole damn thing. So commercial AI bots demonstrate racial prejudice towards speakers of African-American English, despite expressing artificially positive sentiments towards African-Americans. This hidden bias could be influenced by AI decisions about a person's employability and criminality. So they said they discovered a form of covert racism in large language models that's triggered by dialect features alone. Somebody programmed that into the AI. Okay, the AI is not doing that. None of this is happening on its own. This was programmed in by somebody filled with biases. And that's been the problem all along. And at this point, y'all doing this mess on purpose. There's no other conclusion to come to. It's being done on purpose. So, ladies and gentlemen, they're saying, for example, GPT-4 is more likely to suggest that defendants be sentenced to death when they speak African-American English. Hoffman and his colleagues discovered such covert prejudice in dozens of versions of large language models, including OpenAI, GPT-4, and GPT-3.5, the power commercial chat box already used hundreds of millions of people. OpenAI did not respond to requests for comments. The researchers first fed the AI's text in a style of African-American language or standard American English, English, then asked the model to comment on the text authors. The models characterize African-American English speakers using terms associated with negative stereotypes. Again, somebody programmed that in. Somebody programmed that in, ladies and gentlemen. And they know it. They know it. And they know who's doing it too. They, they're they fully aware. <laughs> this ain't no random person. They are fully aware of who put all of this in to AI. They know who it is. It described them as suspicious, aggressive, loud, rude, and arrogant. All right. So when they were asked to comment on African-American in general, however, the language models generally use more positive terms such as compassionate, intelligent, ambitious, 
artistic, and brilliant. This suggested that model racial prejudice is typically concealed beneath what researchers describe as superficial display of positive sentiment. The researchers also showed how covert prejudice influenced chat box judgment of people and hypothetical scenarios. Okay, so then they inputted um, African-American English speakers with jobs. The AIs were less likely to associate them with any employment compared with standard American English speakers. And we know what they mean by standard. It means them folks. When the AIs did match them with jobs, they tended to assign roles that do not require university degrees or were related to music and entertainment. The AIs were also more likely to convict African-American English speakers accused of unspecified crimes and to assign the death penalty to African-American English speakers convicted of first-degree murder. The researchers even showed that the larger AI systems demonstrated more convert, uh, covert prejudice against African-American English speakers than the smaller models did that echoes previous research showing how bigger AI training data sets can produce even more racist outputs. Ladies and gentlemen, let me just go on and say this. These AI companies that are putting out these different chat box, they are unconcerned about this. See, they'll periodically put these articles out. One thing I notice whenever they find racism in an industry in this country, they never come back to the media or even say in the article that you're looking at, these are the measures we're taking to fix this issue. It's nowhere in the article. Number two, they never come back at a future date and say, this is what we have done to fix this problem, or this problem has been resolved. They don't do that. You know why? Because they have no intentions on changing anything. See, they don't mind telling you what's there, but they're not going to go the extra mile to do anything about it. They never do. That's why... Racism is literally permeated in every single industry. So why should AI be any different from the rest of America? It won't. It won't be. I mean, it's just the way it is. But please tell me what you think about this video. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell. And I'll see you on the next video. Peace family.